good day guys welcome to match one round two for the world at war 2v2 open test not test tournament 2v2 open tournament and we have european gentlemen nat nat as china rum the beast as commonwealth and they're up against omega clis flapperjack and liam and we have simus sitting on the bench i was told that simus was out of the roster and he wasn't actually happy with that it's a bit of an internal conflict with that team though so, yeah, though here we go. We've got uh, Omega CLS without Simers facing off a formidable European gentleman. We've got uh, two veterans of the community, Nat Nat uh, especially. Let me go see you guys. Everyone knows Nat Nat in the tournament. A very uh, controversial figure. And we'll see him throw grenades over to try push off Liam. And does quite well. Takes out uh, no one, but a lot of health lost. Liam forced to, as a whole, move his forces back and forth, making all his troops quite inactive. So, it gets off a nice grenade to take out one. On the hand, we have an elite marksman squad from Flapperjack. Uh, ran all the way here, but really evaded uh, by Rumble the Beast. He's able to push all his forces into the housing area where the elite marksman can't take him out. So I'm not too sure about that. That didn't, actually didn't work out very well, that opening for Flapperjack. He had the stamina, but didn't have the, I guess, the shootout. Um, the shootout that he wanted. Soul Squad coming though from Flapperjack, combined with that uh, Elite Marksman might be able to do well. But a very entrenched split out, and uh, split out very well by Rumor the Beast on the Western Point. So the rest of the flags on the left going to the Allies for European Gentlemen. AT Ruff from Nat Nat, goodbye, expecting some sort of uh, Japanese tank rush. And uh, yeah, that's uh, Flapperjack is holding, pushing up a bit forward, that's a nice position. And uh, conscript squad from Nat Nat, the China conscript spam is on. It's taking advantage of the low CP. Bit of a meat shield, I guess. Uh, doing okay. Uh, uh, Rumor the Beast has uh, another force over here. Will potentially throw grenades over. Flapperjack forced to relocate some of his guys. Right side, recruits going from Flapperjack. And he's the hard go by from Liam, going straight down the center perhaps. A lot of troops, more conscripts from that Nat. Another conscript from that Nat. It's playing China the way they're meant to be played, I guess. By design. SNLF soldier. Bam! Nice grenade from Roman Beast. Takes out two SNLF uh, elite marksmen. One left trying to smack a grenade onto that flag. And this guy's gonna prove maybe to be a bane on the Axis, uh, Axis side in the future. Let's see this Hargo go down. Gonna try to use its HE shells. Knock out some of these troops. Nat Nat. Positioned it quite well though. Uh, his AT rifle shot perhaps from the AT rifleman. Boom! Takes him out! And... No, lucky Nat Nat's definitely going to be fuming about that one. And I think he's picking it up then, again. Oh no! It's taken, taken out! So Conscript Squad guy tried to pick it up, but has been taken out. Uh, think to note, with China, a lot of the single specialized buyers do come with extra infantry attached to it. Uh, but just, you know, riflemen, basically. Just see, see, water AT riflemen again. Comes with three other riflemen. Just because uh, it's very important for them. It's my, it's, that's the story behind it, basically. They don't have a, they don't have a manpower shortage. They have an equipment shortage. So they put everything they have with it. And there goes that, uh, the ceramic Agatoa, Agatoa grenade. Which doesn't kill much, but it can kill Hago. <laughs> comes in like a vase type, a ceramic type vase. It uh, doesn't kill medium tanks unless it hits the engine. Occasionally it kills, it kills when it hits the engine. Wow, what an explosion. I don't know how what that was from. The hard girl decides to explode once again with dynamite maybe came out somehow. But uh, now Mark Ring is way in Liam. On the right, some more troops. The right's been taken momentarily as well. There's a whole bunch of troops from Rumble the Beast on the outlier of that flag. Uh, still quite a few guys. 18 for 2, 1 special point from Flapperjack. Seems to be quite the call in the World at War mod these days. SSD has lost the favor. Though SSD has increased in speed uh, in the mod as well. So it is an option perhaps. Kamikaze is still in play though. I think uh, just a bit more options uh, in the mod. At this stage, conscripts. We've got the half track out. Uh, USA half track aid. Also some conscripts to back it up. Doesn't choose to go in there. Uh, people have been a fan of using the conscripts to go into half track and attack a flag. So is this going straight down to the center? Liam has now worked his way in. No sort of uh, tank buy yet. Half track should be able to rip, rip stuff up in the center. Nothing to counter it. MG doing quite well. 
that that should be should be happy with this. 50 cal, king of the field, lean with a 20 millimeter. I'm gonna try it. Uh, come down possibly this way. Half track uh, is not is it's, ooh, it's actually coming a bit forward. No, it's walking away the, the 20 millimeter. It's a little, it's evading the 20 millimeter by accident, and fortunately for Liam, he's not going to get a good shot of it, and probably will put it down and it'll start firing the center, reveal itself, and the half track's in a great position. Seriously, that that just uh, seems like you had a wall axe on. No, not really. He doesn't have wall axe, wall axe on because he's walking straight into 20 millimeter. 20 millimeter is being so silly. It's been flunked down now, but uh, oh, half track is trying to take up the gun or the crew, and the crew's actually tried to come out for some reason and that may even try take that how track may even tow it away and it looks like that's gonna even try that that's got nothing to take out this hard track gonna try and man it let's see if we get in time oh this guy just gets shot in one hit and that oh no oh no oh no this is gonna be a big one it's gonna tow it away can that not escape Liam trying to kamikaze this guy kamikaze no, no, no way in hell 50 cal just mows him down uh conscripts so many conscripts now from that that and the flow of infantry from the Axis side has definitely uh, definitely fizzled up. Uh, AT rifle now from Liam coming in to try to get a flank shot, no go. It's not uh, <laughs> in time as the half track now half track now happily goes past there. It's right to right to spawn. Outside here we have Roman the Beast with a 20mm. Allies are looking so strong now, now on the field. I can see there is a Ohoni 3, Ohoni 2, Ohoni 3, and that's not great versus 20 mil, but it doesn't matter, 20 mil is going to not venture further, it's going to leave that point, he saw that tank coming, he didn't want to risk it, 20, 20 mil being plonked between the center and the southern western point, half track now positioned, but it hasn't got a shot with Liam's troops behind, and there is the, was it the Ohoni 380 rifle plus the Ohoni 380 rifle right there from Slapperjack, only three right there. 20 mil is not going to try 50-50. And it's backing away. I think the 20 mil can face this, this uh, vehicle at decent range. That uh, doesn't matter. Interesting buy. Two special point Honey three. Recruits coming on the southern. Total uh, destruction from uh, Team European gentlemen. CLS, Omega CLS probably hoping they did not... Uh, did not sub Simons out this. I guess he can call Simons their star player <laughs> in the team. But uh, it's not all about winning, I guess. It's all about giving everyone a fair go, I guess. That's what uh, Omega CLS is all about. And it's Flapper Jack's turn to give to to get uh, get some action. Korean rebels out from that nat. They have the choice also of the Muslim uh, soldiers or the, uh, from the faction of the. Uh, Ah, Ma uh, Maklik, Maklik, uh, uh, what do you call it, clans? I think the clan. The uh, Korean rebels are better at uh, close range, uh, less hit points, but they have stealth as well. Coming in, Johnson rifles, Johnson LMGs, I mean. Not going to cap the southern point. Uh, not being used at stealth, I guess if Nat Nat uh, possibly, probably should have gone the Muslim soldiers instead. Don't want to, if he wants to use base fully, uh, completely uh, for shock troops. Uh, here's the USA Age Sherman. Let's take a look at the wonderful model done by Recon. <laughs> Cute little thing. Takes out the Honey 3. Nice uh, eyes, Chinese characters, and a bit of color changes look, uh, on the turret. Beautiful with the lights on. This is doing some good damage with this HE shell. Bazooka from. Is that the Bazooka? Potentially, no, it's not. Uh, complete domination now. Korean Rebels are holding good with the LMG Johnson. SNLF, uh, what? They actually do have 280 SNLF guys just standing there. Uh, potential route this way. Uh, here's a Chinu, 50 50 with Nat Nat. Let's see who is the victor. Flapper Jack needs this to secure his point. Nat Nat for a shot. Chinu is going to try going fast and hard. Oh, doesn't that, that doesn't uh, get baited? But he's a bandit. Oh, wow! Look at that angle. Door <laughs> hits the very edge in the corner, uh, and yeah, bazookas aren't very accurate, and it hit its mark on the side front of the Sherman. Chinu doesn't need to do 
Did it need, didn't need to do the, do the dirty work. And the bazooka did a great job. Now, maybe opening it up for now for Omega CLS. But uh, are lacking on infantry power. Roma has got the <laughs> SAS, some SAS troops over here as well using the Piat to be pesky. Grenade takes that one MG. 20mm is what they need. Where is that coming from? I saw a 20mm, I swear. Ah, oh, sorry, that's from the other side. <laughs> Bedford AA, interesting buy. Not sure what for. Doesn't need the ammunition from my knowledge. 20mm, moving up. Got quite a few guys uh, at the area. Just needs the tank up here. Gonna try and get, take out that 20mm, which is, is the priority right now. So Mill is trying to get away to this area. Can it reach? No, it doesn't matter. Oh, decent flank on those troops. 20 mil gets a hit. Nothing happens to it. It's going to evade and go away here, but it's in danger now being grenaded by the SMG. And it will. No, it won't. Look at the fast turn of the Crusader AA. Flicks around, takes it out. And even now, the Piat shot from the SA soldier is in danger of killing this guy. And the flame, unfortunately, doesn't fire automatically. Hits. The turret, nothing, the turret is down, but it can still take it to the track be taken out, the track's been taken out, it's screwed. Doesn't matter, it shoot, oh, it takes it out! It takes it out, turreted, and the 20 mil couldn't track it in time, but it doesn't matter, bazooka shot! Oh, this assault rifleman takes out the, the guy after it shot the bazooka. Doesn't matter! This same guy, I believe, this guy from the very start that was sneaking around, has taken out the Chi with the 80 grenade, spectacular action. On both fronts at the same time, Nat Nat sent the guerrilla one switcher point Chinese forces. The farm has been conscripted or I guess conscripted to war. Straight in there, very bad troops, but uh, zero CP, I believe. Uh, I think so. Uh, but very crap. A lot of them as well. Half track. Three pointer special commando by Roy Commandos. Interesting. Bye bye. Remember the Beast, just trying to get the numbers on, keeping the pressure up as the allies. The other side, we do have Liam with an assault squad trying to push off uh, that, that suicide infantry. These guys are the kamikazes of China. Not, not stealth though, but they do have uh, better hit points and are faster and come in greater numbers. Uh, here is our conscripts in the back. Has retaken too much numbers there for Liam to handle. And that uh, half track's been taken out by an RPG by Flapperjack. Flamethrower could do some nasty work right now. Potentially on these commandos. Does it matter? Mortar is actually in jeopardy. Flamethrower trying to get, take out this guy. He's too fast. And maybe he might get the grenade out. No, he doesn't. And this guy doesn't as well. He's going to throw the grenade at... <laughs> oh, well. He, he wants to, doesn't want to die. He wants to take revenge before he dies. Oh, it's... He succumbed to the flame. Doesn't matter. His teammate has... Or his friend has taken out the flamethrower. Avenged his death. Now the mortar is okay now to fire upon the oh, reasonably spread out troops, but it doesn't matter with the 150mm mortar. Very, very dangerous. Should pick off these troops quite well. Now that Lots of uh, troops by Nathat. Liam with the 150mm mortar. Now to the center. So both of them have the mortar. Dual Japan. Interesting choice, Dual Japan. Crusader AA on the on the southern. And no kind of, I guess, uh, anti-tank capability <laughs> counters from the Axis Force. 78 to 0. Pressure is keep is really strong still by the Allied team. <laughs> SNLF soldier. Playing a bit too too uh so aggressive. One guy is the only chance, I guess. I'm gonna wait for it behind this house. But it's gonna wait for the infantry room to be sending his assault squad first wisely. Flamethrower from Roma as well. Crusader AA is getting a bit close. A bit too close. Maybe the assault squad should go in first. They're waiting for these guys. Sending two first. Another three. And the AT guy is spotted. And the Sten guy will put him away, and there is nothing to hold it right now. I don't think there is any more ATK filthy. There is none. There is none. Zero. Zero. As uh, it's 20 millimeter put down between the center. Has managed to decrease the point, but the Sherman will take it out. There's no counter. Still no vehicles 
Um, but I think as we just, I just as I just spoke, there's two vehicles being bought. Oh no, that's just the the Banzai Corps, which can't take it the Sherman, but potentially you can definitely go to the southern point and and fight off the Crusader AA, proving to be a decent 20 millimeter counter in the 1v1 tournament. Uh, don't see why it can't be. And 2v2, very economical to take a 20 millimeters at 240 MP. Uh, worth. Um, Banzai obviously not the same price. You do get the Banzai mainly for the paratroopers who, that cost uh, no, no little to no CP. So, oh, it's going dangerous range, especially your side shot. Chiha is going to be. Oh, this Chiha is going to get engine. What is it doing? It's facing the wrong way. It's caught napping. What? It doesn't even see it, but this Chiha is going this one. This Chiha is not even participating. And that is quite lucky for that Chiha and for that Chiha as well. A Crusader uh, had many chances right there. Well, she couldn't do anything. Morta did take out the 20 millimeter, I presume. No, it's still alive. For some reason, so far into the center point. <laughs> Morta um, is proving to be a bane, I guess, on the allied side. Starting to, uh, start to maybe push the battle to the Axis team. Uh, not finding a nice bunched up target over here. That's where it should be right there. Where the United China is in that that. They consolidate this area, no doubt, quite easily. Oh, boom! Takes out the 150mm 97 mortar. And I can say that there was never a United China. Um, pretty much they've been fighting against each other or withholding the troops, uh, withholding their own troops in the war, in real life. Though there was a time they were united uh, just before the Battle of Shanghai where they committed all their troops to try stop Japan. Um, try to try to make the I guess the world watch and to support them to show the world that they can win in the war, but they did fail, losing Shanghai, Nanjing, etc. At uh, that stage, they did have um, support from a lot of the factions, the communists, and uh, etc. That oh, no, maybe not a lot. I think that the some of it. So that's what United China is anyway, guys. That idea. Chiha coming in. Wow, <laughs> they got catapulted up back in this area. That this guy, <laughs> been such bad luck with that guy would have died. Uh, he's at remember the tulip. Oh, tulip so close to Chiha. Other Chiha's not being marked too well. At 50-50 uh, play is potentially on the cards, and it could be the option because that's expensive, man. For a Chiha to die to it doesn't matter. But it, I guess he's yeah, he's scared of that Piat, and that's a fair call. That Piat will definitely take it out very easily. Piat uh, not able to take a shot. Chiha shooting in desperation to defend itself it doesn't need to as it's too scared to come out. Uh, Robert the Beast is actually being very aggressive coming up with his tulip to try it go toe to toe. Half track taken out by the M4A1 Sherman. Uh, United China being used quite <laughs> passively as the Axis do have uh, the scores now coming into the right side of the flag. <coughs> The mortar's doing all right. Tulips actually uh, damage this mortar. It can be repaired. Yeah, so I guess it's preventing the United China from coming up. Paratroopers have managed to cap this back, but United China should be able to cap cap it right back uh, from it with its numbers. Uh, potential four cap though. That, that uh, micro ring well though, and too many for the paras to do much. One of the worst the worst paratroopers in the game in terms of a shootout. They're quite cheap, comes with 80, 80, uh, oh, sorry, anti-infantry mines. As per default, nothing's really changed there. Ooh, Tulip. Has been turreted on main gun. Don't know, can't tell. No, it's still trying to go for it, I'm guessing it's still operational. It's not firing back though. Chinu, for some reason, is not firing either. When it can, I guess it knows it's been main, main gun. It's, oh, it's trying to... Trying to face off that, that Sherman. Oh, it's tracked the Chinu. You know, mm, is it awkward? Is it awkward? It's quite hard, I guess, for that not to take a shot. But the Sherman does have a high turret and probably should, could shoot over. Oh, doesn't matter. Piat from the from that house takes it out. A very, very infant, 8th infantry heavy map, if you can use it well, to be honest. It can dominate and change entire battlefields. I've got to use more. I'm not an 18 infantry fan because it's. I guess it uses micro. You need micro, and it's. I guess hard to get in position sometimes. 
it's quite a casino, but yeah, to be honest, it's worth it. Oh, especially on a map like this, there's a high chance of you uh, making worse than that. Worth making worth of it in terms of uh, getting ambushes off. Wow, <laughs> Type 99 MD of the paratrooper kind. No, it's just a home guard. Okay, that conscripts just fall right into it. A shelled out position in the center flag from the 150mm order. 2 to 2 from Nat Nat. Germans did supply the Chinese with a lot of equipment before or the start of the war. They trained, or jail training China before the war. They have a lot of uh, uh, old pack, pack uh, type guns, 80 guns as well, and a lot of uh, car, car 90, I'm not sure if it's a car 98, it's from the rifle, the bolt action German rifle. And then later on the Allies helped them out, and there you have that Sherman. So mainly light vehicles. Chito and Liam proving to be the choice of vehicle from the Japanese faction to bank to. Usually the choice of tank for the Axis faction if there's a Japan on the team. The Japanese or oh, the Axis team would uh, get the Japan player to bank for the tanks and the other one go for the infantry and vehicles. Grenade! Too hard. Going for the 50-50. Did okay. Could have got a side shot there but Fortunately not the right pathfinding. Hits a tree and slowed down to be easily grenaded by an AT grenade. Right side, assault squad coming in. Paratrooper from Flapperjack. Not being able to do too much. USA 8? <laughs> okay. AP shell with nice shot from the Cheeto. Explodes. That uh, Sherman doing quite well with tank hunting, but got to be wary now. Bazooka uh, trying to track it, and especially getting too close in this kind of map. is no, no. Bazooka coming in. Type 99 will take it out before it makes an impact. Some paratroopers pushing up from Flapperjack, making sure it's clear from Bazookas. Well done to him. Mortar is trying to pound away. Not too much in the center. They're really avoiding it. I think that, that's a, most of his United China has been sit back. And to be honest, that's a decent play at this stage. You can counter the Mortar. He has time. And also because the, the United China costs no CP, so you can keep those guys behind the lines for a while without affecting your payback. Right side's being taken back though by elite SAS squads from UK, Flapperjack. Oh, Vickers VGO mows down Flapperjack's infantry. Sorry, was that, did I say Flapperjack? Mows down Roam of the Beast's infantry. SAS Vickers turning away, but too many guys on him. There's some left soldier as well. Puts him away. Mortar just took out a shitload of Nat Nat troops in the center. Nat Nat fleeing to the eastern. And we'll hold on to the center. Top scorer, I dare say, is the Mortar? No, it's not. It's the Tulip and the Chito and the Chiha. Tulip player must have taken out quite a lot that I didn't know of. Uh, seems like to be the choice of vehicle. The tool for a lot of players. I personally like the Cromwell 95. Uh, time and time again, we've seen all, most lots of the teams going tulip. Much better range, I guess, and potential to burn the engines of things. Um, safety. Hago from Flapjack. William supporting with the Cheeto. Try face up that tulip. Hago trying to support this point. Danger though of the 50 cal or anything pretty much. Cheeto takes out the turret from the tulip or something. 96 points though. They need a flag point. There's so many troops over here. Oh, HG Shell doing decent work. Piat though from Roman the Beast will put away that hard go quite easily. And all they need to do is send some more SAS to the center and retake it for four points left to European gentlemen. Simon's must be fuming watching this right now. Wishing to be part of the action to face off Nat Nat. Pinned out. <laughs> Same time. Time 92 rush failed on the side. Uh, <coughs> 400 to 313. Well, score wise, definitely going in the favor of allies as well. So I dare say if the game went longer it would have gone to the allies even as well so it doesn't really matter. Usually Axis do win later on in the game most of the time. 
due to their, I guess you can say, uh, not really better late game, you can say better late game units and some, somewhat, but I think it's more so that the allies have better early game units. Well, for rushing, that is. And the Axis do have better defensive units and units that take time to make an impact, like snipers, mortars, etc. And heavy tanks. So most allies people play allies to spam their special point units to try to overwhelm the Axis team. So they can get the advantage that way. That's how it's always been since the start. It may change a little bit in the next uh, iteration of the mod just because making. Which will uh, kind of make the special points more balanced in terms of uh, rushing and defense but hopefully keep the uniqueness of the nations but anyway good game to team european gentlemen takes out the first game second game should be uh, i was heard was a cooker so watch out for that one